Hey everyone, in this video we'll be setting up Android TV and Google TV 14 on a Windows PC. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. First, head over to the Android developers website and download the latest version of Android Studio. Once the setup file is downloaded, open it and follow the on-screen instructions. Clicking next until the installation is complete. After the installation finishes, launch Android Studio to get started. In Android Studio, click on More Actions, then select Virtual Device Manager. Next, click Create Virtual Device. Under the Category section, select TV, then choose Television 1080p and click Next. Now, select the latest Android TV image and click Next to begin the download. Once it's downloaded, proceed by clicking Next and name the device Android TV 14. Leave all settings at their default values except disable the camera Increase RAM to 4GB, set the storage to 8GB. Finally, click Finish to create the virtual device. To start the emulator, click the Start button. To increase the screen size, press Ctrl plus up arrow. The Android TV emulator will now boot up showing the Android TV logo. Once Android TV has finished loading the TV launcher, navigate to Settings to check and verify the Android version of your Android TV. Here we can see the Android 14 version is installed. The best web browser for Android TV is Browse Here by TCL. You can download it directly from the Play Store on your actual TV as well. One of the biggest reasons I recommend Browse Here is its ability to download files allowing you to sideload apps from the websites like APK Mirror, APK Pure and more. For example, just like we downloaded this amazing app here, you can easily install and stream your favorite programs without any hassle. Now we can set up Google TV using the same method we used for Android TV. But this time you need to download Google TV image. Just click on More Actions, Virtual Device Manager, Create Virtual Device. In the Category section, select TV, Television 1080p, click Next. This time select the latest Google TV system image instead of Android TV. Keep the default settings but disable camera and set the RAM to 4GB and storage to 8GB. Click finish to create the virtual disk. Finally, click the start button to boot up Google TV. When starting Google TV, you will notice key differences compared to Android TV. The boot animation is different and the user interface in Google TV follows a content-focused layout, whereas Android TV uses a grid layout design. Also, the dashboard on the Google TV is more similar to Android phone's dashboard. One of the main issues with Google TV virtual device is accessing the Play Store, which is not directly available like in the actual Google TV. To access it, go to Settings, Apps, then open Google Play Store from there. From here, you can continue downloading your web browser or any of your favorite apps. We have reached the end of the video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like us to create a video on making a bootable Android TV or Google TV live USB using Android Studio. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.